Okay, this water one. Water is composed of 88% oxygen by mass. In a 23.6 milliliter sample of water, how many hydrogen atoms are there? Then we go on to get the density. The density of water is 1.00 grams per milliliter, and there are 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of hydrogen in 1.01 .01 grams of hydrogen. So that's a conversion factor. Okay, so let's let's look to see what we have so far. So we know we have what? You know it's 88% oxygen by mass. So we know that there are 88, say, grams of oxygen for every 100 grams of water. So we know we have that. That's a conversion factor. We also have 1.00 grams of water in one milliliter of water. That's a conversion. We also have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of hydrogen in 1.01 grams of hydrogen. So we have those three conversions that I can see here. And what is it asking for? Units of how many how many hydrogen atoms? So we know we're shooting for atoms of hydrogen. Okay. So the only other thing, these are all conversion factors. The only other thing we have in this problem is the 23.6 milliliters. Six milliliters of what? Water. So this is a conversion factor. This is a conversion factor. This is a conversion factor. The only thing that isn't is this 23.6. So let's go ahead and solve this. We know we're shooting for atoms of hydrogen. So let me scoot this down just a scooch. All right. So I know we're atoms of H. So we're shooting for. And the only place we can start is this 23.6. Oops, am I still on? Yeah. 3.6 milliliters, and that's milliliters of what? H2O. So somehow we need to get from H2O to H. And we look at our conversion factors. Is there anything that has both H and H2O in it? Oh yeah, look at that. We have grams of oxygen, grams of water. But that's not really hydrogen. We need to get to hydrogen. This is the only thing that has hydrogen to something else. These are all the same H, H. H2O, H2O, here's something else. But remember, if water is only H2O, it's, it's hydrogen and oxygen. If it's 88 grams of oxygen per 100 grams of water, it must be also, what, 12 grams of hydrogen per 100 grams of water. Has to be. It's, it's got to add up to 100. So 88 and 12 is 100. So Here's a conversion factor, and that's a little tricky now because we had to go from oxygen to hydrogen, but now we can go from water to hydrogen. Now, the only problem is that's milliliters, that's grams. So how can we go from milliliters of water to grams of water? Our density, here's our density. Anytime we get need to go between mass and volume, density is it. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. I know that one milliliter of water has a mass of 1.00 grams of water. And remember, we mentioned this before, that's a good density to memorize. And, you know, scratch your nose, look at that finger, hey, that's only one. Density of water is one. So we can always remember. All right, so if I were to stop now, that would be at grams of water but I need to get to hydrogen. Oh, now I can use my conversion. I know that for every 100 grams of water, I have 12 grams of hydrogen. Bingo, I've made the transition out of water and into hydrogen. Grams, I still need to get to atoms. Do I? Oh, look at that. I have 
a gram hydrogen conversion to an atoms. So I know that for every 1.01 grams of hydrogen, I have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of hydrogen. Bingo! Units cancel. Let's go ahead and figure it out. So I have 23.6 times 1.0 times 12 times 6.02 to 10 to the 23rd divided by 100 divided by 1.01 .01 equals, and I should get a big number because atoms are small, and that looks like I get 1.69 times 10 to the 24th. Looks like I'm good to two significant figures because that percentage, that percentage here is a measured value. So that's going to be what? 1.7 times 10 to the 24th atoms of H. Bingo.